you guys. So I just got back from Little Tokyo and I thought it would be a really fun haul to share all of the items I got. I did not plan on buying much while I was out there. I was just going to buy my son a little something and maybe buy myself something and just enjoy the good food. But I ended up buying stuff because it was just so darn cute. Uh, some of the stuff ended up staying in my car because that's actually where they are going to stay. Um, so I didn't bring those in because I wasn't really planning on doing a little haul, but I figured I could share with you guys. And then later on in another video, I can show you the stuff that I got. So I'm kind of like bummed that I left them in the car and I have to go all the way downstairs and I'm kind of lazy. So I'm just gonna show you what I have here. Um, yeah, so one of my girlfriends and I, my friend Sally, so we ended up going this weekend and, or today I should say, and we ended up buying like so much stuff that was totally unnecessary, but totally cute. So I couldn't help it. Uh, yeah, her and I both really love Kauai. And so we thought it would be a fun little weekend getaway uh, for the day. So I'll go ahead and get started. I bought my son a bunch of little goodies just because he loves like all of the anime. He loves Totoro, Ponyo, Spirited and Away. Pokemon. He loves it. So they had a bunch of that stuff there. So I had to pick him a few things up. Um, I can't remember the name of the store that I got the first item, which is a big plush Totoro, which has a little package, which I'm just realizing it's kind of hanging off. So I'm going to probably have to sew it back on there for him. But it was $19.99. A lot of the other stores that we we're looking at, Totoro this size Totoro, this exact Totoro was like $50. So I got one. My friend also got one. Um, same price, $19.99. And my son really loves Totoro. So I grabbed him this little guy. So I can't wait for him to see his items that I picked up for him. I'm going to put like a little goodie bag together for him just because he didn't get to go this weekend because he's actually with his dad. I know he would absolutely enjoy this little town so I'm probably gonna take him next weekend just because it's not my weekend with him and he's with his father and I didn't want to you know interrupt their time together so I'm going to probably take him next weekend maybe the weekend after I'm not really quite sure um or whatever weekend I have him after that so yeah I thought that was really cute so I'm gonna get, give him that I also got him a couple other things which we weren't even planning on purchasing anything in the store, which was like a little market, which had like food and all of that stuff um, and skincare items. And we, again, we weren't planning on buying anything. My friend actually just wanted to go in there to buy something to drink because we were both thirsty. And she also wanted to get changed because she wanted to take photos on the photo booth that was outside, which makes your eyes a lot bigger. We ended up getting carried away and buying a bunch of snacks that we didn't need, but to be fair, they are really cute. So I'll go ahead and show you. I got my son the little soda that had Pokemon on it. So I guess there's like a little ball up in here and you like press it in and it makes it fizzle and gives you the flavor. I don't even know what flavor this is, to be honest with you, I didn't even check. Uh, let me see. I don't even know what flavor it is. I'm thinking it's like some sort of pineapple. I don't know. I probably should have read that. Oh, well, he'll still like it. It's a very cute bottle. I know he's going to want to save it, but it's super cute. I got him that. I also got this because it was a dollar, but I guess these are like little sweet cakes that you put in the microwave. And sorry about my ring light, but <laughs> they just have little cats. And I just thought those were so cute. And this was something fun that my son would like to um, cook with me and yeah you just put it in the microwave and you make your little cakes so I thought that would be fun I also got him this because he absolutely loves Pokemon his bedding is Pokemon so I thought that was super cute and I think they're just like little cookies and I think it also comes with like little stickers in here so I thought those were really cute that he would like those I also got him, again, it's a theme here. I also got him this little rice cake, which has Pokemon, and I think that's Mewtwo. I don't really know, I'm not quite sure. Again, sorry for the glare, but I thought that was super cute and I thought he would like that. And then I also picked up some watermelon gummy candy. My son absolutely loves watermelon, so I thought he would appreciate those. 
And I also picked myself up some candy, which I'm gonna open. It's like apple, muscat, and grape flavor. So these are like little gummies. I thought those looked really good. I have no idea what the muscat tastes like. I think it's supposed to be grape, actually. But I'll try it and I'll let you guys know what it actually looks right now. Because I'm curious. I'm actually super curious. I want to know what it tastes like. So, hmm. I feel like it tastes like green grapes, which tastes like regular grapes. Hmm. I don't know. It tastes really good. I don't know what it is, but it tastes good. I'm assuming it's a grape. If anyone knows, leave a comment below. Uh, I also got some little Hello Panda, which are their strawberry flavored. I really like these and I actually wanted them because I wanted a little like cookie to snack on while we were walking around. And I ended up not even eating these because we decided that we were gonna get some milk tea and get a donut. So that's what we ended up doing. And we sat there for like two hours in this really cute little donut shop which is by the parking structure, which I can't even think of the name of the donut shop, which I'm kind of bummed. Again, I didn't pay attention to that stuff, but we went to Twinkle, Twinkle Cinnamon Coffee or something like that, Cinnamon Brown Sugar Coffee or Brown Sugar Tea. That's where we got our milk tea from, which was really good. Um, but yeah, so I got that. And I also got a couple other things. So my friend and I, when we first got to Little Tokyo, she gravitated towards this little stick of perfume. And she's like, oh, this is really cute. And she smelled it and it smelled so good. And it's literally, let me just pull it up. It's literally like a stick. It's kind of like chapstick, but it is um, perfume. So it smells really good. It smells like peaches. And this one's in the scent Sophia, and it just has a little lamb on the front, and I'm assuming that's a little apple. I, or maybe it's supposed to smell like an apple, actually. Hmm. I don't know. It looks like a little, it looks like an apple, but it kind of smells like a peach. So we will definitely have to look into that, but it just smells so good, and she put it on. Like, as soon as we got there, she put it on. She's like, all right, I'm going to wait before I buy this. I am going to walk around before I start spending money and seeing what I like. And then from there, I'll decide if I want to buy anything else. So I thought it smelled really good, but there was only the one. So I didn't want to get it because I knew that, you know, that's what she wanted and I didn't want to take it. So we went and walked around and everything. And when we went to the market later on, when we were supposed to get change and we ended up buying a bunch of snacks, I found this for $14.99 and at the first store where we saw it, it was $17.99. So, I mean, it's only a few dollars difference, but I thought that was really cool. And this lasted her all day. Like she smelled so good all day. So I had to grab one as well because it had multiple of the Sophia scent, but we want to go back this weekend so we can buy a couple more because there was a few other ones that smelled really good. I think there was there was one with a bunny on it, but I can't think of the name of it. And that one smelled really good, but it had a lot of vanilla in it. So I don't really know if that's the one I would want. There was one with the lion that I really liked the way it smelled. So I'll have to look up the list because I really liked them. And then I got two other things, which I got two pairs of chopsticks. One has little cats on them, which is kind of hard to see because of the glare. Sorry. And then this one just has like see right there a lady on them and then also it has I got a little pen which or it's actually a mechanical pencil but it has like little Mickey ears so you guys know how I am with Disney I had to grab those and then my last thing that I got was this drink and I just thought it was so cute it's a green tea and it just has really Rilla Kuma Rilla Kuma I don't know the name of him, but Rilakkuma, I had to get it. I just thought it was totally adorable. And I also got one more thing, um, well, which I have with me, but I went to the San Rio store and I had to get this because I thought it was so stinking cute. I already took it out of the package. They asked me if I needed a bag and I was like, yes, because I need that bag. It's just so cute. So darling, I got a 2020 Gudetama cal calendar 
Oh, it is just, look at the art. I, I could not pass this up. Like, just look at how stinking cute that is. How could, how could I have passed that up? It was $11.40, $11.40, but I just thought the art was super cute and I'm really debating if I wanna put it on my wall here by my desk or if I wanna take it to work with me. So I don't know, I kinda feel like I wanna put it up here so I can have something really cute on my wall. So I think I'm gonna put that up here or I don't know, maybe I can grab another one if I go this weekend um, and I can grab another one for my office. So yeah, that's my haul. All of my cute little items, I'm very happy with it. It was a really good relaxing time. We had such a great day and I'm hoping to have another fun little trip. I did want to film, but I've never had, I've never been there before. So I kind of just want to do experience it for the first time. I did pull my camera out a couple of times, like when I were having dinner, not dinner, excuse me, when we're having lunch, um, I did pull it out a few times and she kind of was on the camera, but it just felt really awkward for me. Like I'm still trying to get comfortable being in front of the camera. So it is a struggle for me and I'm really trying to, trying my best to just pull it out and just not give an F because you know, at the end of the day, like those people don't know me and I don't know them and whatever. Like, I'm not going to judge them. Maybe they're not even judging me. Maybe they're just watching me going, Hey, like she's on camera. I wish I could feel comfortable doing that. You know, I don't know, but I thought I would share this quick little haul with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry. I look really tired. I, <laughs> my hair is all messed up. I was wearing a hat all day. So I had to put my hair up cause I'm, it's hot outside. And I'm tired and I just want to get cozy in bed and wash off all my makeup. So I will see you guys later and thank you so much for watching. Bye.